Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm back with another tutorial, updated tutorial from the Hiroko. As you remember, I made a tutorial like, I, I'm not sure exactly when, but I think it was last year. And it was the, about how to host your own Discord bot, uh, the, the JS version, not that JS version, uh, 24 seven. So it, will, it won't get offline ever. So, which is great, amazing. So, in today's video, I'm gonna update it because last video had a lot of issues and I had a lot of members in my Discord server asking about that. But in today's video, I'm gonna update that tutorial and uh, we're gonna know how we can make our own Discord bot 24 7. It's gonna legit work 100%. If you have any problems, just comment down below or you can join to our Discord server, link in the description so you guys can join and ask the questions. Our support is always ready to help. So, let's get into the video. All right, so first thing first, make sure you have your Discord folder. So for example, this is my bot. You can name the folder whatever you want. For example, this is my bot. If I double click on it, I see my files here. I made it basic, basic code for my bot because I don't want to make you confused about something else because we need to do, ex you should do exactly the same mistake that I'm going to do right now because if you do something wrong, everything is going to mess up or you should do everything again. So just follow my steps so you won't have any more problems. All right, so as you can see, I have my Discord file here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first link in the description and I'm going to download GitHub Desktop. So as you can see, there's a link in the description. You guys can download this application. You need to download it. This is the first link in the description. So you guys can download it. After you guys download this and install it, follow the instruction and the installation or some stuff like this. And then after you guys install it, you need to check the second link in the description. The second link in the description is going to go to the GitHub website. You should probably have an account with GitHub. If you don't have an account, just create one. After you guys create one and log in into your account or whatever you want to do, you need to click on this new here. And then as you can see, it's going to ask you for a repository name. I'm going to name my repository name called uh, example Discord bot or whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. You can put any name you want. But make sure it's private, you can put it public, but if you put it on public, everyone can see your bot code or some stuff like this. So I prefer to put it on private because it's kind of more better, I guess. As you can see, we have these settings here. Don't change anything here. Last time, I ha people had a lot of problems with this step. Just make sure don't put anything on and do anything. Just don't do anything in this area. This is so messed up in here. So it really, it, it really important. You can put in description you want, but doesn't matter. Just don't, you can put if you want, whatever. For me, I don't put anything in my repositories in the description. Then you need to click under create, create repository. As you can see, now we have a repository called the example Discord bot or whatever name you call it. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, after you guys download the first link in the description, you guys need to go to the GitHub desktop. There we go. So as you can see, I have my uh, repository here. What you need to do is log into your account in GitHub desktop. So as you can see, we have the current repository, some stuff like you do, you won't see this stuff here because you did literally it's your first time. If it's your first time, you won't see anything here. So you guys need to click on a file here and then click on the clone repository after you guys log into your account. As you can see, it's going to ask you for cloning a repository. You should see your uh, repository in here. Uh, I call it Discord bot example discord but as you can see if you don't see it in the github.com in the repositories in here uh don't worry it's fine you need to go back to the github website and copy this link here as you can see just click on this and then go back here and then click on url and paste it here so you won't have any problem i'm just saying for people who have problems with it but now i have the i don't have no problems in the github.com uh, tab so i'm just gonna click on my example but that i made in this website i mean the github website i need to clone it it's gonna clone example discord but as you can see now it's cloned so we finally managed to make our host for now the basic host for the github next thing you want to do is you're gonna go to file explorer and as you can see this is a default or whatever you want to call it <laughs> you need to click on documents here as you can see and then you need to click on the github and then you should see your bot get i mean sorry your github folder i mean the github name for the repository in this folder after you guys clone it so my for example my uh, repository name is example discord bot and i cloned it here and i should be able to see it in documents github folder discord bot example discord bot as you can see this is my folder so as you can see right now i have my folder cloned so everything i put in here 
I can commit and put it on the website so it will upload it for me on there so for example right now we finally did it we are in the folder after you guys went to the folder in example discord bot you have to have your discord bot folder as you can see you have discord bot here you need to double click on this folder and as you can see you should see your bot files i don't want you to copy the folder i want you to copy all of the files in the folder of your discord bot that you have so you need to copy this and then go back to the uh, location that i told you for your repository and then paste them here it's gonna paste up for a few seconds because yeah as you can see right now i have this one here next thing you need to do is your visual studio code your atom whatever you use for your coding uh like this i use, I use your visual studio so yeah next thing you need to do is you're going to open your vs code or visual studio code and then all you guys need to do is you click on the open folder as you can see and then you need to go to the documents github your repository name called mine is example discord bot and then i need to click on select folder as you can see it's gonna select our folder so i'm going to click on index.js as you can see i have my information of the bot bot login whatever you use i want you to first know that if you have any cons let me just show you an example you need to edit so many things i mean not, not just so many things but the basic things that most of people mess up so please be careful about this first of all if you're in code you have const token and then um you have something like equal to token here if you have anything like this in your code token inside of here please delete it okay if you have anything in your code called this just delete it and that's it and if you have your token inside of this area bot.login or client.login whatever you need to remove this again remove this remove all of the token from here as you can see you have nothing inside of this brackets you need to put process inside except the token in here you need to put process dot env dot token and then you need to save your file so as you can see we finally managed to fix this problem make sure you do follow exactly the system that i said right now to you uh, so i want you right click in here click on new file and i need to call this file p r o c f i l e and then hit enter as you can see we have something like this in here it'll be like an icon or something like i don't know what it says called it's called heroku we will see about that soon so don't put anything else after this like for example profile.js or whatever don't put anything just profile straight forward you should have this icon if you're using anything whatever so right now i want you to type worker this thing and then hit enter make sure it's exactly like mine and then you need to put node and a space and you need to call okay as you can see my main discord bot file is index.js yours maybe is another thing like for example you can say it's bot.js or another thing doesn't matter if it's yours is index.js you need to put index.js this area is the most important if you have anything other else, for example, if you're using bot.js for your main Discord bot file name, you need to put bot.js. So as you can see, mine is index.js, so I'm going to put index.js. And then as you can see, you need to save it and you're done. So you, you finish everything in your source code, you don't need to you do anything else. Next thing you want to do is you're going to back to GitHub desktop. Make sure you save both of the files in here. Make sure about that. And next thing you want to do is go back to GitHub desktop. And as you can see, you're in your repository right now. You should see a tons of files that's going to commit. So yeah, make sure you see all of this. If you don't see it, don't worry. Just click on the fetch origin, something like this, I guess. Yeah. And if you don't see it still, close it and open it up again. Close the uh, GitHub desktop. So next thing you want to do is, as you can see, I have a lot of files right here. So yeah, as you can see, you need to put a summary. I'm going to put the summary called first or whatever you want it really doesn't matter and description is custom like we can put you want you can it doesn't matter really i really don't put description for any of my commits you put you can put anything you want really doesn't matter so i'm just gonna put like first and then you like commit to master it's gonna take a file so i'm just gonna skip it so as you can see right now uh my commits are finished after you guys did that you should click on publish branch Let's click on this and another quick note if you if you want to edit your code each time for your bot you need to edit it here and then save it and again like i said you should go back to github desktop 
and you need to commit to master and then push origin if you can't commit to master the reason is because you didn't post summary or your file didn't saved in your uh visual studio code so yeah each time you want to edit your code you should do that so next thing you want to do is tickle the third link in the description third link in the description is about Hiroko. you should make an account with Hiroko. And yeah, make sure to make an account or if you already have a Heroku account, you need to uh, log in into it. And yeah, after you guys log into a Heroku account, you need to click on new and then click on the create new app. You can call it any name you want. Again, it's really customized. You can put anything you want. I'm going to put it called uh, example Discord bot for video because by the way, there is a lot of problems. I'm sure you won't have technical difficulties a lot here because most of the names are taken. So just put any name you want, doesn't really matter. And then click on the create app. So as you can see, we finally created our app. You need to click on after you guys create your app, you will redirect to this page here. You need to click on GitHub here. And then as you can see, we have our GitHub connected. If you, you should connect your GitHub to your Heroku, it will show you a page for you for connecting it. So yeah, just make sure about that. And you need to click on the search and it should show all of your uh, repositories. For now, the repository I'm going to use in this today's video is the repository that we made in GitHub desktop called the example Discord bot or your repository that you did for your in your GitHub name of your repository. And then after you guys find your name of your repository, you need to click on connect. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna connect, as you can see it's connected. You need to click on enable automatic deploy. So it's each time you uh, commit, this means that each time you commit and push the origin in here, it's gonna automatically reload the bot in the Heroku. So yeah, and then you need to click on the settings right here. In the settings, in the meanwhile, that's gonna deploy some stuff like this. You need to click on here, and then you click on add build pack. In this build pack, you need to click on node.js. And as you can see, the build pack is added. Next thing you need to do is you need to click on reveal config var, and you need to put the key called token. And then the value is your bot token. So you need to put your bot token in the value. You can see I put my bot token here and the token is string here. I need to click on add. And as you can see, it's added. Now I click on hide config wars. Next thing I do is going to go to the deploy tab. And then the deploy tab, you need to click on deploy branch. And you need to wait a few seconds in here because you should wait until all of them are checked. If all of them are not checked, there is a problem with your code. You need to go to our Discord server and ask for support. You can comment down below or maybe I can help you with that. As you can see, it's only as you can see, all of them are checked. This means my my uh what is it called? Hosting is completely uh successful. I need to go to back into my resources tab here. I need to refresh my browser. After I guys refresh your browser, you need to as you can see we have two dinos here. You need to click on this one here and then turn this off and then click confirm. And then you need to click on this one called worker. Click on this, click on this, confirm. And as you can see, right now I, I accepted the worker. And you need to click on the more view logs. As you can see, it's, this is the log for your Discord bot. As you can see, it's uh, working. The state chain from search. Okay, let me just restart my dinos. There we go. The same change from startup. They change from it. It's gonna show all of the log. The, the test dash draft is online. Now your bot is hosted completely free. So let me just show you the proof. Let's go to here, Hiroko. And the Hiroko, as you can see, my bot is off online. If you even close your Visual Studio code, it's gonna be online. It's 24 seven without any problems. If you follow my steps, it should work fine. If you see any errors in your console, don't worry, join to our Discord server. I will support you personally and uh, I will I will help you. Don't worry, Just I'm just saying that I'm supportive. So yeah, don't worry about it. Thank you guys so much. As you can see, my buttons online. I don't I don't need to do anything else. I know it was a long video, but I updated it finally because a lot of people had a problems, had a lot of problems, not gonna lie. But right now, you finally did it. A quick note, each time you edit your code in Visual Studio Code, make sure to save it and then make sure you to commit and push it. So if you can't push it, it means there's two reasons. The reason number one is you need to put a summary or you didn't save your file in your Visual Studio code. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. If you like, make sure to like it and subscribe button and follow the socials. Also, please make sure to join to the Discord server.